Shalom, this is Rob Vanoff. We're going to go over the Greek alphabet. And what we're looking at here is from uh, Bill Mounts' fourth edition of Basics of Biblical Greek, published by Zondervan. And we're just going to go through each letter here. And you see in the left column is the English transliteration. Uh, and then you see the Greek spelling. So it's alpha, alpha, as you can see, which is spelled by alpha, lambda, phi, alpha. Then you have the approximate transliteration in English. You have the capital and then how to write it in Greek here. And we'll just be looking at, at the names of each letter and how to write them. I won't write them myself, but uh, you could get a good picture and just practice just what you see here in the far right column. So it's alpha, beta, that's of course where we get our word alphabet, alpha, beta. And these were taken from, actually from the Semitic world, from Aramaic or Phoenician. Alpha, beta are the names Aleph and Bet in Hebrew. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and what we call epsilon is actually two words. It's e, psilon, epsilon, zeta, and this is a z, like in the word days, zeta, eta, theta, iota, or iota, kappa, lambda, mu, nu, this is the uh, xi, we say xi, and it's like a, uh, like axiom, it's like x, x, like a ks sound, o micron, so we say omicron, but it's o micron, a small o, uh, we call this p, it's kind of a p sound, in to say it in Greek, hro, and the ro is a, is a transliterated with r, but it's a little bit of a trill, r, ro, ro, Sigma, sigma, we'll say sigma, tau, upsilon, upsilon, we say upsilon, phi or phe, chi or che, psi or pse, and omega. So you see omega is actually two letters. It's, it's the letter and then it says mega. So we have o micron meaning small and then o mega meaning large and just to go back through the pronunciation then so the alpha uh, there's different debates on how to pronounce these in detail i'm sticking with the more traditional the way it's been taught although there are newer reconstructions now that people are teaching about how ancient greek was most likely pronounced of course we know that it, there's a lot of variance just over geography. Um, if you go to one part of the country, you can hear someone speak English, for example, in the United States or someone else, and it, on the other coast is going to be speaking the same language and pronounce some of the th uh, vowels differently, accents differently, and things like that. And there's the same uh, diversity in the ancient world. So we don't need, I'm not one to get bogged down on. Uh, too fine detail of, or insistence when it comes to pronunciation. But there are general rules. So the alpha is like a ah, as in father, a. Ah. Beta is b as in Bible, b, b, b. Uh, and then sometimes it can have a v. Like sometimes the, the name David is spelled with a beta, David or da, David. So it probably has more of a v. Uh, gamma, we're just going to pronounce it as a g, g, although in modern Greek it can have a y sound, y, or even a ch sound, but we're going to stick with the g. Delta is d, like a d, as in dog, d. Epsilon is e, like met, e. Zeta is z, as in days, z, z. Eta is either e as in obey, obey, or e as in feet. 
theta is th, like thing, a thing, th, th, th. Um, iota, i, i, as in intrigue. And there's two there. There's i and e, like intrigue. The word intrigue has two eyes. And for those who have the textbook, I'm just reading in the far right column, which you cannot see on the screen here for the pronunciation guide. Kappa is k, like kitchen. Lambda, L as in law, l. Mu as in mother, m, m. Nu as in nu, n, n. The xi or xe as in axiom. So it's like a ks, it's a x. Omicron as in uh, a, like not a, or as o, a longer o as in note. So it has some flexibility, a or o. Pe can be, uh, is, is p, like peach, p. Hro uh, as in rod, but like a, with a slight trill, r, rod, ro, r. Sigma is just a s sound, s, s like study. Tau is t, hard t, as in talk. Upsilon is uh, u, sometimes they'll say it's uh, like u, like in like book, like the double o, or even the u in universal. This is the upsilon comes into, uh, transliterated through Latin, uh, into English with Y, like psychology, right? The P-S-Y, that Y there. If we go back into Greek, psuche is not spelled with a letter Y, but an upsilon, psuche. And then fe is f, like phone, like your cell, phone, f, f. Um, he or he is like ch, like la, lach, 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 or a, a chet in Hebrew. Uh, pse, as in like lips, like P-S, ps. And then finally, omega is a long O, like tone. All right, so that's pages 9 and 10 from uh, Mounts' Basics of Biblical Greek, 4th edition. Just going through the alphabet. All right, shalom.